Hey guys, I'm Ronnie, and today I uh, will be I I am gonna be doing a tutorial on how to free up space on the your SSD or yeah stuff like that or on your hard drive. So um, you know um, the affordable range of SSD capacities are just like 128 gigabytes, 256, and maybe also 512. But I'm not that kind of person to buy a 512 gigabyte SSD. And I only had money uh, to spend on the hard drives for 200 gigabyte, a uh, 240 gigabyte hard drive SSD, excuse me, and uh, two two terabytes of um, Seagate desktop HDDs uh, storage in RAID zero to keep up with the rest of the storage. So um, you know um, they're okay in terms of what I'm doing. They're just okay. So it comes to a day. When it gets full, just like me, installing programmers on it, and you know, it sometimes gets just uh, full. Let's see, it's like half full now, or like 40%. So I have to clean it up. The first step is to just uh, go to recycle bin, check nothing is there, and then you go ahead and empty it because it actually uses up space. So, uh, the second method is to move system files located on your C drive users and your account and then there's the desktop, desktop thing here so uh, you can move uh, you can uh, first uh, you can move these folders desktop uh, downloads music pictures videos and stuff like that and then um, so I'm going to do a tutorial on how to move it now so uh, click on the uh, first, create an, uh, a folder that you want to move it to because it is actually going to replace the entire folder with the folder moved and then um, and then just go to uh, your look, the destination folder and then uh, uh, and then go to this one is your directory that is uh, your SSD drive users and then your username and then right click on the folder and then click properties there and then click location and then move navigate your destination folder and our case is here this is only for demonstration purposes so after you select the folder click select folder and then click OK then click yes that should take a while I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it you see desktop documents downloads all that kind of stuff is moved, including OneDrive, which is um, one of the most space-consuming folders in Windows 8.1, as it is integrated, and also if you delete it, it'll just simply crash, because, uh, I mean, it'll just rebuild itself, and you know, you know what it just costs, anyway. So, um, I have the same thing, just properties, location, and move it, it'll, you'll be okay. So the second step is to navigate your way to disk cleanup. So in our case, is go to settings and then go to control panel. Just navigate your way to control panel and then system and security. Then scroll down to administrative tools. Then disk cleanup here. Double click, select the drive you want to clean. Click OK. Wait for a moment as it has to scan the drive. And then you should see the amount of crap that you can remove. Uh, click on clean up system files as well. Click OK. Just wait for a moment. So guys, after a while, we have finally finished the scan. And we have about uh, 900 megs of data to be clean. So click OK. And uh, click Yes. Uh, delete files. Press Enter. And it will automatically clean for you. Just wait a while. So after it's completed, go ahead and oh my god, that is where it gone. Okay, so go ahead and then go to the control panel again. And then go to uninstall programs and click on installed on to check the uh, screw down to the very bottom and then check uh, very bottom things do you have anything that you don't use perhaps yes 
And then, uh, if yes, go, just go ahead and install that and you'll find um, it way worth it than waste, just wasting your disk space and grabbing another SSD or hard drive. So, uh, the last thing to do is actually um, to restart a computer. Why? Um, just use your memories that you use your RAM pretty intensively. Perhaps, in our case, we we'll, we were editing videos pretty intensely. Uh, using about all of my RAM at the same time and there should be a page file um, that um, it's stored a temporary storage but but uh, it is very safe to restart a computer and let Windows automatically delete the file so yeah thanks for watching this tutorial remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel now for weekly tech videos and also subscription is free and leave down a comment below to let me know any more SSD or hard drive cleaning tips and so we'll see you next time. Bye!